Hey, what's up? This is Fox Wheeler. Um, I guess that's stupid, right? You already know who I am. I hope you do. Or maybe you know who that guy is. Um, but uh, I, I want to give you guys kind of an update um, on my pain situation. Um, everybody knows I've been chronic pain uh, for a little bit over a year. Um, two years now that I lost my leg. Uh, so dealing with uh, phantom pain and chronic, uh, what is it, neuropathy, um, and my residual limb. Uh, you guys have seen all my videos that I've talked about over, over the last two years about how I've been dealing with pain, and I've tried everything. Um, embarrassingly, I, I don't believe in this. I can't stand it. I can't stand the smell, but I even tried marijuana. Um, yeah, I tried gummies. Uh, I tried... Um, crap, I can't even think of the name of this other garbage uh, that everybody kept telling me about, um, but it only made me puke um, and feel really nauseated. Um, I'm on narcotics now, this garbage named Narco. I take it twice a day. Um, all it does is make me more or less feel like I'm in la-la land, you know, really non-functional. You know, even when I was in the hospital, um, you know, being on extreme high amounts of it um and you know um geez for the names of some of the drugs i can't even think of uh some of the mind-bending drugs they had me on for pain um but they're intravenous and they never fully took me out of my pain uh, warp that i was in you know for to be in pain uh you know 24 hours a day for months and months and years. I can't, there's no way to explain to you what that does to you. Um, for me, it just, it really warps my brain. It, it's just mind bending sometimes. I mean, honestly, I just, uh, I just lay in bed and sob, you know, cause it's like, you know, you're trying to run from it and everything you do and there's no running. And sometimes my brain just cracks or I just crack mentally like a, like an earthquake. My mind just cracks and I'm non-functional. I just freaking just lay there in a fetal position crying, praying, uh, begging, and sometimes bad thoughts of just what can I do just to escape for freaking five seconds. And... Uh, haven't found anything. So many people have sent me their CBDs and all these crazy amounts, a thousand milligrams, 5,000 milligrams. And uh, I just really lost my faith in anything ever being able to help me. And um, I was in England at the um, Honor Classic UK and um, my colleagues who were helping me run my booth kept telling me there was a, a guy that kept coming by and telling me how, you know, he has a product for me that's going to help me get out of pain. And uh, I would just tell him, I'm not interested, you know, just tell him I'm not interested. And, uh, you know, he kept missing me. And, um, you know, Sunday, the last day he caught me, you know, um, I was getting ready to leave the booth. I had all my stuff packed and, you know, my colleagues are leaving and, he walks up to me and I see, you know, dad showed me his products. So I already had seen what it looked like. And I, I, you know, as he was talking, I glanced down and looked at his shirt. And I was like, okay, so he got me. Um, and, you know, the guy just looked at me, goes, flex, please, just five minutes. I know you're tired. Um, you know, I know you want to get back to your hotel. He goes, please, just five minutes. I, I've invested everything. I invested my savings. I invested my pension in this. And uh, please just hear me out. I was like, you know, okay. We sat down and he explained to me about his CBD and why it was different. And, and to be honest with you, not completely, but you know, things were just going in one ear and out the other. Cause I'm like, oh God, you know, here's another CBD company trying to sell me um, something. And I've had some CBD companies throw some big time money at me, big time money um, to say that their product work and uh, actually I'll reveal um, some products I had uh, 
I was really close to white labeling some products. I have them uh, upstairs in my bedroom. I mean, we had the labels all done and everything, and they kept promising me that, you know, their formula was gonna work. And uh, I kept saying, great, you know, send it to me. And um, I need to try this. I need to know that it works. I'm not putting my name on something that doesn't work. And I expressed that to him. And um, he gave me some more bottles and he's like, listen, I know you have some. Here, let me give you a couple more. He goes, man, just, yeah, I put everything into this flex and we've gotten nothing but great reviews for my products, 100%. And I'm like, you sure you want to give me this? Because I'm, I'm afraid that I'm going to break your, your, your batting average of 100%. I go, you know, none of this has ever worked for me. And he's like, just be honest. He goes, here's my card, here's my product. If it doesn't work for you, Flex, just be honest. Just tell me it doesn't work. And um, got back to my room, forgot about it. You know, I had so many people give me so many things uh, at the show. And um, I ended up hurting my back, which everybody knows I have a bad back. C4 and C5 are degenerated over uh, 90%. And uh, the only relief they said I'm going to get from that is surgery. And I'm just trying to do everything I can to not have back surgery. Um, but uh, in anything I do, and a lot of things I can't do anymore when it comes to training, um, I have to engage my core tremendously uh, to keep from injuring or re-injuring my back. And uh, I was washing my face, um, getting ready to leave on my flight that Monday. And um, those sinks, um, you know, in England or this particular hotel they were so low you know and I bent over I'd have washed my face and I just didn't engage my core enough and I heard this familiar sound you know just looked like something a little stick breaking and a sharp pain hit me again and uh, you know I, I grabbed the sink um, to keep from falling on the ground because that's normally what happens I hear that sound pain immediately uh, and it's either in bed for a few hours uh, taking some extreme narcotics or call 911 and I've had to do both for, God, over the last nine years. Um, so I'm like, you know, let me try this, you know, and let me see if it works. And I, I put some on my back and uh, it's like, you know, I'm laying there and I felt the heat. I was like, wow, the heat is comforting. You know, I see how it does that. You know, what's the difference? And uh, I laid there for about 10 minutes and I was like, my my pain wasn't as intense and I'm like maybe I just didn't injure my back as bad as I thought because that's that's never happened and I sat up and I was like huh you no know, it's not the product it's 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 I didn't hurt my back as bad as I thought so it did still hurt so I was like geez um Got downstairs, got my luggage in the uh, La Memo and you know, two hour drive back to London Heathrow. And the whole time the, the heat felt really comforting, but more so than that, I was like, I know this shit doesn't, didn't work. Nothing works, you know. Again, I just kept giving it off that, you know, maybe I didn't hurt my back as bad as I thought. So flying back home, and I take off my prosthetic leg and I, I apply some to my leg because I'm just like, I'm going crazy in pain. I'm like, all right, let me give you the biggest test here. You know, let me put some on my leg here. And um, again, immediately I felt the soothing heat and everything. And, you know, in about 30 minutes or so, I'm thinking I feel some relief. And I'm like, not possible because CBDs don't effing work. You know, I'm not sure what's going on with this product, who's lying about what, this, that, and other, but there's no way in hell I know this doesn't work. And um, got home, you know, didn't unpack for a while. <clears throat> Obviously, um, you know, immediately I went to the armor class, I mean, the Olympia, and you all know what happens after that. I'm in the hospital for a month or whatnot. But I got to tell you, over this time period, me and this gentleman had continued talking and uh, he had sent me an email, you know, expressing how hurt he was that, you know, the product had worked for everyone and he really thought it was going to work for me. And, 
being that I never reached out to him, um, that he thought it didn't work at all. And I just responded back like, no, you know, it's been a lot that's going on, but you know, I, I just want to give it more time. You know, I'm very skeptical and I just don't believe in CD, CBD. And I told him that flat out. And I said, you know, I, I mentioned that to you when I met you, I don't believe in this garbage. You know, um, I've tried all the CBDs you can think of in the world and I, I don't believe in it. I go, I'm tremendously skeptical and, and I'm just going to take my time. Just like take as long as you want because I want your honest opinion, good or bad. And uh, yeah, um, 